let's make my hunter's herringbone quilt pattern which is the same block as a hunter's star but for our fabrics and the layout they will be structured differently to achieve this new look today's pattern will yield you a large twin size quilt measuring at 64 inches by 80 inches now let's get started for this pattern you will need 40 layer cake 10 inch squares and 40 background 10 inch squares. For my background fabric, I prefer to use yardage over a layer cake since it is cheaper. Now, if you prefer to use yardage, you will need two and six eighths of a yard of fabric. You will then trim your yardage down into 40 10 inch squares. Now with both background and print 10 inch squares, we are going to first cut a 45 degree diagonal. Next, from that 45 degree diagonal, we are going to cut a parallel line two and a half inches away. You will repeat this to both sides, creating these two long trapezoid shapes and smaller triangles. Now this is where a rotating mat will come in handy. Afterwards, on the two long trapezoids, we are going to cut parallel lines two and a half inches away from the sides of our layer cake edges to create a total of two diamonds and one shorter trapezoid. Then we'll repeat this on both sides. And once everything is cut, you should have two triangles, four diamonds, and two trapezoid per 10 inch square. Then all you have to do is repeat this step to all of your print 10 inch squares and background 10 inch squares. Now that everything is cut, we are going to rotate some fabric around until we have formed a hunter star block. But do look closely as our prints will be in different positions from a true hunter star quilt block. Now if you would like to make a traditional hunter star quilt, I have a video already made which I will link down below in the video's description for you to try out as well. Now all we have to do is sew everything all back together. First up, you're going to sew the diamond to the shorter trapezoid. And make sure you have a quarter inch dog ear sticking out since we are sewing on a diagonal. Next, sew your other diamond to the trapezoid unit until you have formed a pieced trapezoid. Lastly, you will sew the smaller half square triangle to your pieced trapezoid and make sure it is centered. This triangle will be slightly larger than needed, but we will trim everything once at the very end. And feel free to press your centers and pin if needed. Now that one side is finished, we are going to repeat the same steps on the other side by sewing our diamonds to the trapezoid. And lastly, the smaller print half square triangle to our unit. Once we have our two half piece triangles put together, we are going to sew them together to complete our block. Now do take your time sewing everything together. We are working and sewing on the bias, which means there will be a lot of stretching going on. And if you are struggling with your fabric stretching, starch will become your best friend. And lastly, you will trim your block down to a eight and a half inch square. Use the 45 degree line on your square ruler and match it to your 45 degree line down the center and all you have to trim off is the little bit of those triangles and of course any dog ears. This will pretty much make it a zero waste quilt pattern. Now all you have to do is repeat these steps until you have made a total of 80 quilt blocks. Once all of your blocks are complete it is time to lay your quilt out. You will rotate your blocks around to form a herringbone pattern while keeping the light prints together. No matter what, you will have two of each print. Now all you have to do is lay everything out in an 8 by 10 layout and sew your blocks together to form rows and then lastly sew your rows together to complete your quilt top. And here is what my quilt top looks like all finished. For the backing, I am using a coordinated print from within the collection. As for the thread choice, I am using glide threads in the color denim. And here is what my Hunter's Herringbone quilt pattern looks like all quilted. I do hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial. If you could please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing quilt project.